because his name alone dries the tongues of my enemies. If such a hero fought beside me, I'd fear nothing. What's your name, Lord? I am Hundwald, loyal son of Lord Hunbeor, the current elderman of Lincolnshire. May God keep and cure him. You see, my father is ailing, and in his delirium, evil men have corrupted his judgment. A secret and powerful order, if the whispers are true. Only a month ago, without forewarning, Mercian soldiers chased me, his only son, from my home. I know not why, but I do know my father would never have ordered my exile. Outcast from your family. That's a hard road to walk. Could one of your clan help me return to Lincoln? March beside me through the city gates and set me at my father's noble feet once again. It may be we can help you, but we'll want something in return. An alliance between our clan and yours. And you shall have it. My father is a great friend of the Danes, in spite of the recent wars. You sing a sad song, Woodbald of Lincolnshire. A son, robbed of his father's protection, now desperate to prove his honor. How far will you go to regain it? To a bloody end? Oh, indeed. I will plunge into the heat of battle to defend my father, knowing our cause is a righteous one. All right, young lord. My clan has need of me just now. But when I'm ready, we'll find your father together and right the wrongs you've suffered. Ah, you are the chieftain here. I suspected as much. God praise you, Eivor. I won't be leading you into the heart of the shield wall, but there will be danger. I want your word. You will follow my orders to the ruin. I am yours to abuse. If it comes to that, I'll wait for you in my safe haven, Bottleston to the northeast. From there, we shall make our way to Lincoln. Goodbye, Lord Boy. Safe travels. God bless and keep you all. I fear I may be escorting that boy to his own execution. That might shut him up. This is Hunwald's safe Though we be a Mercian Shire today, tomorrow the Kingdom of Lindsay will rise again, as free as the wind on the back of my neck. Your line of kings died long ago, Hunwald. We're in Lincolnshire now. Do you need a map to remember? Alvgar, my dear man, I do not need a map to prove what my bones know for truth. Caught me a spurgeon on the river yesterday morning. been discussing my delicate situation with Alvgar here. Lord. He is a nobleman like me, one of Lincolnshire's sturdy thanes. Hunvold's idea of sturdy is a mug of ale that won't tip over. Alvgar has pledged his loyalty to my family, the House of the Ferocious Swan. With his influence and your might, 
we shall rid Lincolnshire of the ruffians who plague this land, once and for all. We are going to see your father, Hunwald, that's all. Indeed, Eivor, with speed and purpose. You are the axle to my wheel, the spark to my tinder. Hunwald, I don't know your friend here, and not knowing him, I don't trust him. I'm his voice of reason, Eivor. And I've told him a thousand times it's too dangerous for him in Lincolnshire. Listen, I've come to escort you to your father's side. We go now, or I walk. Ah, yes, to Lincoln! Away! But with care. The road between here and there is teeming with brigands who wish me dead. You daft lump of lard! A single dame will not protect you against the whole of Mercia's army. I think you're wrong, Alvgar. And here he'll prove it. I'm hot for a fight, Snowdog. Give me half a chance, I'll stove your heathen face right in! Have you ever seen a blood eagle, my Saxon friends? A what? A blood eagle. A raw, magnificent bird I'll tear from your guts. First, I crush your ribs. Then I pull out your lungs and stretch them into wings, so you can fly to your heaven as fast as possible. Jesus fucking Eden. You canny fox. That was incredible. Like watching a captain navigate the roiling waters of an angry river. I must void my bladder, Eivor. Then we shall set forth in search of adventures new. You travel with a marked man at your side. He's with me. He'll be fine. If I had a scribe jot down all the occasions I'd warn that stupid boy, I'd be the most written about man in history. Alfgar, the boorish nag of Lincolnshire. Told Hunwald to stay near. Where did he? Look at him, soft as on Are you hurt? Unbelievable! The Battle of Buttleston will be remembered for years to come! Alfgar, we have won our first great victory! Humboldt, are you hurt? Never better, I... We should get to Lincoln as quickly as we can. Yes, yes, you're right. Let's depart. What? Me. me, the son of a beloved elderman. Was it naive of me to believe my status as a nobleman held some sway over the chairs and serfs of this shire? What cause have any to dishonor me? <sighs> Look, boats there! 
We could sail the waters to Lincoln, sink the ships of any enemies in our way. What were you told when the guards exiled you? Oh, scraps of nonsense. I woke to screaming. A man grabbed me, said I was an immediate danger to my father. Ha! Horse pucky! Mercian soldiers then shackled me, rode me blindfolded to the river Wash, and told me plainly, start anew elsewhere or face death in Lincolnshire. What did they mean? Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death, hungry for his inheritance. Speak plainly, Humboldt. I can't help you if I don't know the full story. You hold no grudge against your father? No, never. No, I suspect the order for my exile came from on high. Perhaps one of Burgred's final orders before he was deposed. That would surprise me. Burgred was battling Danes until the end. He had bigger things to worry over. Perhaps you're right. He's too contained. It must have been King Alfred, then. King Alfred of Wessex? That's another kingdom entirely. Yes, but Alfred has a fearful hatred of the Danes. He must have heard that I am courting one. A beauty who knows no evil. Hunwald! Praise God, you live! I do, my dear Reagan soul. Tell my father his son has returned and in fighting form. It is urgent I speak with him. I'm sorry, Lord, but your father has been taken. Taken? When? Weeks ago, Lord. And well ill he was when they carried him off. I wish I could say more. Who took the Elderman? Was it soldiers or men of God? There were men with swords, and those of the cloth. And a healer, too. One who had oft been a guest in this house. Galwina. One of the sisters my father put great faith in. He still has friends in Lincoln. That's a good sign. Bishop Herivrith among them. He's kept a vigil at the town hall, looking after things in your father's absence until he returns. Will we find trouble there? At the town hall? You mean soldiers and the like? Aye. There have been many, many more about since your father took his leave. Right. We'll find a quiet way in if we can. Tell Lord Hunbeor his son has returned. My lord, you're well. Lord Hunward, you should have sent forewarning of your return to avoid the violence that dogs you. Lives might have been spared. Why so surprised to see my return, Bishop? Was I rumored dead? Oh, worse than dead. It is my reluctant duty to report the rumor that you were lost in the north, bedding a Dane on some squalid farm. I have no patience for insult and rumor. We have come to speak with Lord Hunbior. That is all. Lord Hunbior has gone, I'm afraid. He would not say where to, but I'm sure he will return shortly. Once the storm has passed, what on earth do you mean by that? What storm? Your father feared for his life, Unwald. In his weakened state, he could not defend himself. Not against a Dane, certainly. How dare you? Eivor is above reproach. See this from my view, Hunwald. You arrive after a strange absence, with a hired Viking in tow, demanding to see your father. This does not, in my estimation, imply benign intentions. If I meant to murder you, these stones would be slick with your gore already. Such violence. Good heavens. God must have purpose for you pagans in his holy plan, but I confess to utter bafflement. Hanwald, your father was at my hospice for a time. But he left of his own accord, without saying a word. That's all we know. Come, Abbas. We should leave this young lord to his scurrying thoughts. There is nothing more of use we can say to him. 
Take care, my boy. Stay within these walls where you're safest. I'll have a look around, see what I can learn about your father. If my father spent time at the hospice here, the healers who work there may know something. Talk to them if you can. Find out what they know. When did you last see the Elderman? Leave us be. It is not your place to be asking such questions. Do you know where your Elderman is? I can tell you a few things, but not here in the open. Follow me. This is far enough. Tell me what you know. Oh, I know loads of things about our Elderman. I know his favorite foods. I know when his bedclothes get changed. And I know he hates being bled with leeches. That sort of thing. But where has he gone? Ah, where? I have no bloody idea. Is that what you asked me? Forget it. Are you the head sister? Too comforted by the sight of you wielding weapons like a war chief. We're a hospice, not a barracks. It's bad enough I've got these armored cod pieces watching me work. Now you! No harm will come to you or those you care for. I'm only looking for your elderman. I'd be risking my neck telling you anything. And if my head rolls, these sick and ailing folk will follow me to the grave. Your elderman would agree. So the sooner I find him, the more quickly these prowling guards will leave your hospice. That's a pleasant thought. Our Lord was in a bad way here, and getting worse, in spite of our efforts. Then, quite against my instruction, some guards moved him out. I overheard them talking about a bathhouse. There's no working bathhouse in Lincoln. So, I gather they meant the old ruins just south of here, by the eastern walls. Ruins, just south of here. I'll look there. Thank you. I pray you find him. He's in desperate need of care. from splitting our skulls as well. Because they fear us, see? No one takes us for fools. You got it. Remember, God punishes those who wish ill upon... upon... Go on. These tunnels run deep. Was the Ultimate fleeing to a hideaway beneath Lincoln? Oh, oh, ah, damn it!
Guards here are vigilant. More Mercians traipsing across our routes. Come, peace. Fighting here. About what? A violent struggle between us. The bandits didn't fare so well. A noble's cloak with the image of a swan. Looks like the ultimate passed in this way. Saxon nobleman paid some bandits for permission to sneak through these tunnels on their way to Bolingbrook Castle. Mercian nobles made a deal with some bandits, paid them hush money to let them sneak through these caves. When the time came, the bandits ambushed the nobles. But it didn't end well for the bandits. In the struggle, the Elderman's cloak was torn off. But he got away and headed east for Bolingbroke Castle. That's my best lead. Rooting around in the... Mm. Keep my wits about me. Pagan ravages are coming! <laughs> Just 
Bob on the right track. The keep is well protected. Born in a time of wolves, you have earned a long rest. There now, my lord. All is prepared. Shall we begin the washing? Hey, who comes? Welcome, stranger. Are you here to pay tribute to our Lord Elderman? Your Elderman is long past the days of good conversation. Yet still, he makes good company. I've been instructed to wash and prepare his earthly vessel. Instructed by whom? Soldiers. They brought him here as he protested, feebly. I did my best to make him comfortable, until he slipped away. Humboldt deserves to know the truth about his father's fate. He is owed an inheritance, and deserves a chance to become Elderman himself. All in good time, I imagine. No, now. When the guards put him in my care, I was told to keep all this a secret. Until the appointed time. When I asked who gave these orders, they struck me. I wish I could say more. I've seen all I need to. But Humboldt will need proof. Of course. You're welcome to search through his effects. Though I'm not sure what trinket would best serve your purpose. I'll find something. I don't know what this is, and I'd rather not ask. Yes, I thought the same. Troubling. Foul. Rat droppings everywhere. Even in death, my lord is a friend to all of God's creatures. A box of musty clothing. And a brooch with a crest. The house of the ferocious swan. This will do. I'll return this brooch to Hunwald and Lincoln. I hope the poor boy can withstand such ill news. <clears throat> dead. Wait, what? The sigil of Humbiot's house. I found it near his body. No. No, this cannot be. He was strong. A pillar of Lincolnshire. He cannot be gone. He... he... <laughs> oh, you poor boy. I'm so, so sorry. I am a man, Archer! Do you hear me? I am a man, and I am my father's son. Do not forget it! He's been dead for some time. That was obvious by the state of his corpse. One of you knows more than you're letting on. I'm sorry, Hunwald. I had already asked a priest to administer last rites when your father disappeared. What? I didn't tell you sooner because I... I thought by some miracle he had survived. You lied to me! You silly, sobbing mooncalf. Will you never grow up? Lord have mercy on that woman. She should have said something. It was her duty to say something. Mm -hmm. 
you need a new Elderman here. And it falls to King Cheowulf to make that choice. But once we find agreement, Eivor, the nobles here will convene a shy mood to select a new candidate. The winner will stand before the king for approval. Explain how this works, your Shire Moot. A moot is a meeting of lords. We convene from time to time to steer the course of our Shire. It was always my intention to convene a moot, but between our troubles in Lincoln and the bandits' raids, we slipped into a pattern of convenience. We have a similar custom, what we call an Althing. An assembly of good folk. With so many like habits, there should be peace between our people and yours. Perhaps that begins now. Apart from Hunvald, who else will stand for the ultimate seat? If I may be so bold, I should like to put my name forward. Under my care, this Shire has found some peace this past month. I will offer my name as well. My family has ancient ties to this land. 